Hey, what's going on, Jedi's? In this tutorial, we're going to be learning a little bit about the switch statement, which is very, very similar to the if else statement. And it's actually the switch statement is specifically designed to handle some of the if else statements that you guys have been writing. And so, what we're going to do is quickly jump into a tutorial where we're going to use our Jedi rank and we're gonna have user input in this tutorial so we're just gonna ask the user for the Jedi rank and don't forget your ampersand as we learned in previous tutorials so essentially we're gonna take their integer value that they're gonna input assign it to the Jedi rank and now we get into the switch statement so it starts out with switch and then this is going to be inside the parentheses is going to be where our expression is evaluated. So the expression that we're going to use is our Jedi rank in this case. All right. Then we're going to put some brackets in there. And so we've got uh, curly brace here, curly brace there. And within it is going to be what we call cases. All right. So we're going to simply write case. And this is going to evaluate the expression and execute program statements based on the case that you develop there. So the first one that we're going to put is simply like, uh, you know, case 25. I'm sorry, I put a colon instead of a semicolon. And if you return, you'll see that it, that it already ends in for the case of 25, where this is where you'll enter some program statements. And so in this case, we'll just put like print F, what up? And semicolon at the end. Now to end this case, we have to break our loop. Now this is something new as well because essentially we have these loops going on and if you want to exit the loop, you use break. If you want to continue or process the loop, you'd, pr you'd use the continue. All right, so in this case, we're gonna exit the loop once we find the case that we're looking for. So once the Jedi rank is equal to 25, it's gonna print what up and it's gonna break out of this switch looping statement here. All right, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna establish another case, let's say uh, 50, and you'll see once I put in the semicolon there, the case shoots over to where it should be, and I really screwed that one up. All right, hit return, we've, you see that uh, we've got our, our uh, indentation there, so in this case we'll just put like print F, Hello, my friend. And we'll break out of that one. Let's do a couple more cases. Case 15, 14. Sure, that works. Print F. And in this case, we'll go hola. I think that's about all of the languages that I know. And, well, in this case, let's not break out of this one. Let's just leave it as is. And, uh, and we'll end it with default. All right, so default is similar to like the else statement and in an in if, if I'm sorry in an if else statement. So all these cases would be like similar to ifs, and the default would be like the else. So if none of these cases executed, we would come down to the default, and we would be like, "Hey yo, yeah, new language." All right, semicolon there, and don't forget to. Uh, to end it with a break as well. All right, so we've wrapped up the switch statement there, basically evaluating our Jedi rank. And if it equals 25, it's gonna obviously go to this. If it doesn't, it's gonna move on to case the next case where it evaluates 50. If that doesn't equal, equal the Jedi rank that we input, uh, it'll move on to 14, so on and so forth. Once it hits one that it actually is uh, true, it's going to do the printf statement and break out of the switch statement there. And we'll return that because I've really, really screwed that up. All right, so that is uh, the basics to the switch. Let's go ahead and run our program and we'll test it out here. So let's put in 25 to start. You'll see what up comes because the case is equivalent to it. It didn't go any further because we have this break statement here that breaks it out of the switch and only executes these program statements here. So let's run it again, let's put in 50, we see that we get hello my friends, and then we get down to, let's go to 14 where we didn't put a break statement and see what happens. Whoops. Let's 
go ahead and run that. So put in 14, and you see we get hola, hey yo. All right, so that means it executed this right here, as well as this default here, which is hey yo. And that's a little bit interesting. Why did it go from here and execute this as well? And it's because we didn't execute the break statement to actually break it out of its switch. So let's go ahead and input the break. Let's run it again. And let's put 14 again. You see that we just get Ola. Ola now. All right. So then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to choose a number that's with that's outside of our you know case numbers here, which are 25, 50, 14. Let's uh, go ahead and run it and put like 80 or something like that. And you'll see we get Heyo. So if it doesn't equal any of the cases that we've evaluated based on our expression up here, you'll see that the default kicks in and executes our printf function there that says, hey yo, yeah, you've messed up big time. You don't even have any of the cases, so on and so forth. So that is the basics to the switch statement. We will catch you guys in the next tutorial.